episode that I'm calling Hater Comments, otherwise known as, you guessed it, Computer Warriors. Because everyone has a friend who is a complete ass behind a computer, but in real life, is a pussy. It's just hilarious. I think they're the most petty people in the world. The most petty. The most. The most petty of petty. The most. The most. The most. Yeah, the most. Just in case you didn't know. Most. Also, two people I would really love to completely humiliate in front of everyone right now is one, Blair Morris, and two, you guessed it, Vetti. The only good people in this whole entire world that are subscribed to me and know me personally are JJ's, what is it, JJ's awesome place, Cod Lover. Give a shout out to him because he is an alright YouTuber, he's a nice guy, real life. But, but those, the Warriors, the Warriors, they, they all suck, every one of them. I cannot wait to just sit there and completely roast them. So you know what? I'm going to put in the chat they suck. Yeah. They suck. Not only that, but they really really should do us all a favor and just leave everyone alone for the rest of their life. Like, oh, I really cannot describe how much it grinds my gears. So many people out here working their heart out, doing their best, trying in this world, and then people like that come along and completely destroy their hopes and dreams. You guys are assholes. So just for that, I don't even want to know, right? The people who do that type of stuff are just petty. They're petty. They know they're petty. And I bet you, if you give anyone the opportunity to punch you in the face, they will take it between a heartbeat. Not even within a heartbeat. It's between a heartbeat. Be like, boom, punch in the face, boom. There you go, two heartbeats. Because some people really do not care what your opinion on if they're good or not is. The good thing is that everyone has good subscribers, but everyone also has terrible ones. And those people that are terrible, they, oh my god, like, you can ask the best YouTubers in the world, they'll say, they're only haters. Haters have no purpose doing what they do. If I mean, have you ever heard of if you don't have anything to good anything good to say, do not say anything good at all. Then why would you put comments in millions of things like that? And also the people on Twitch who start talking about Oh yeah, this person and this person sucks. Oh, this person, this person sucks. And then they they literally donate money to get what they've said, which is a like mean, just to get it so people can see it on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. It's just I really those people deserve a smack across the face. If you know what I mean. And funny thing is, I know a lot of those people. I'm not gonna say anybody's names, <coughs> Blair Morris, but you know, and also Betty. I said I wouldn't say any names, but yeah, that's already out the window. 
because these guys are the lowest of low. They are beyond low, actually. Like, oh my god, some people deserve a roundhouse kick to the face. I mean, they deserve. They deserve a roundhouse kick to the face. I don't even care. I don't even care if you've had a rough childhood. Doesn't mean you need to make anybody else's childhood worse. I'm going to put this on Facebook. Having a serious talk about haters on YouTube. Send. There we go. Come watch. Alright. And one of the other things that really grinds my gears is when people are completely oblivious that they are wrecking this person's hopes and dreams so many people want to make money from doing what they love like me I love playing video games one day I don't even care if I'm making maps for a video game doing anything or just playing them or even reviewing them as long as I make money doing what I love I'll be happy but some people just can't respect that and to those people I would love to give you my middle finger because you are assholes and not like the oh yeah a little bit of an asshole I mean you're a complete asshole like it, you sh really shouldn't have a YouTube to be able to talk to people that's why from now on in my comment section I am getting everyone that does not put something that is happy or upputting or anything all of those bad hater comments are being reported and spammed because if if you don't have anything good to say like I said before don't say anything at all because people really don't need that in their lives people really do not want to know what your opinion is unless they ask you I mean I wouldn't ask you anything unless it were serious like what should I be doing for my YouTube channel you guys want to see more stuff like this or some CSGO if I get a computer soon like anything I mean, this is a matter that one of my friends he is extremely depressed every time he looks at his comment section and like just to think that one day he might snap and I don't want to be there when that happens this kid who is my friend just has had enough he has had enough. You, the people that are our souls, can leave everyone alone. If you don't have anything good to say, once again I'm saying it, do not say anything good at all. And also, to Blair Morris, that's right, you will know who he is. He's the guy at school that treats everyone like shite. And it boosts his own ratings by saying, Oh, I'm cool, I'm the best. Why, how are you? I'm blessed. <laughs> Shove it up your ass, alright? Because no one wants to talk to you. No one really cares what you think. The, no one even really gives a half a shit. No one. Right? Like... 
I really didn't want to make this video rambling on about this type of stuff, but I cannot, like, cannot refuse to talk about this much longer, because it is such a shitty thing to do. I mean, like, you really should not at all just know. And the day where you stop hating on people, people might stop liking you. But until then, and you keep hating on people, don't expect for everyone to love you. And don't expect to get stuff from the people you're hating on. A couple days ago, sitting there, playing soccer, players like, oh, pass me the ball. And I'm sitting here thinking, hold on a second, a day or two ago, you were calling me a uh, F word or a C word, and then now you're talking about this. I mean, one of them was extremely freaking mean, talking about my family. And you never pull someone's family into a conversation. Never. Like, even if it's, oh, I'm so sympathetic, don't. Because the the wounds might still be fresh. It's happened before. Alright. So, oh, you, some people are just really lucky I'm not like how I used to be. I used to have a extreme temper issue. Now, Blair is just pushing it out of me again. And Vetti as well. Vetti, I don't really care. You're just a normal hater. You're just one of those, mm, this kid, this kid, this kid, this, this kid, that, this kid, this, this kid, that. But I know you're just a computer warrior. You won't say anything in real life. I bet you I could walk up to you any day of the week and say, hi, and you'd just be like, oh, hi. Oh, how, how was, how was your day? You, you, you're good? Okay, yeah. And then behind the computer, you're like, oh, this kid's up, and this kid's up, and this, and this kid can go. And I'm sitting here just like, really? the full bruh impressions going on. So, the next time you want to leave a nasty comment, think about what you would say if someone left that to you. Just think about it. And before you say, oh yeah, I wouldn't even care, think about if it were about your mother, or your father, or your sister, or your brother. Think about the most closest person you, even a girlfriend or a boyfriend, depending on what gender you are. Even if you're bisexual, I don't care. But some people on Facebook or YouTube or even Twitter are just like, Oh, bisexual people are disgusting. Dude, I bet you, if you saw two girls kissing, you would just be like, Oh, shit. See some guys kissing? Oh, that's just wrong. No double standards, alright? Also, double standarding doesn't just apply to gender and race. It also applies to... Imagine if someone came up to you, Oh, you're a shit guy. This, 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 this. I never want to see you again. You're really bad. Imagine if someone said that to you. Imagine every single thing you're saying is towards yourself. You're thinking twice about saying it now, aren't you? Because this is a really, really close discussion to my heart, because I know a bunch of people who have just not had the best of times. I mean, everyone doesn't have the best of times, but some people are just... Nah, some people are just not very good at this at all. But yeah, that was my thoughts on this whole hate comments, everything like that. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Alright. Bye, guys.